Hey guys, today I'm in very sunny flower pot here in Tasmania and behind me is the Apple Crate Shack. Now this is a very small home that was built with a very ambitious budget of $60,000. Now that is my kind of budget and it proves that you don't need to spend a lot to get a lot. Let's go check it out. Love the veggie patch. We've got plenty of flower pots because we are in flower pot after all. Can you see the timber around this home? Come with me. This is where they came from. That tree, that tree. Talk about using what is at your disposal. They've actually taken the trees to use for the timber on this home. They were all milled on site, all thanks to the help of a very helpful neighbour. We're going in. You ready? You can go first. I love how friendly this home feels as soon as you walk in. Do you know what? I feel like I've got to a mate's place and because of that, I'm going to make myself at home. This kitchen feels really good. I mean, it's a small kitchen, but it's very functional. And again, with the recycling, look at all the office filing cabinet. It's now your pantry. There's an old bit of Rio hanging your pots. You got all your mod cons, you're all good. Your form fight looks epic. Plus, you've got your laundry here as well. So that's pretty cool. Heart skip a beat moment. It's this epic exposed brick. Oh my gosh. As soon as you walk in, these are all recycled bricks from three different sites. They've got such a beautiful tone to them. This is our entertainment pad too. I love that they've got vinyl. Definitely a dark straight time. This home feels really good. This is quite a small room, right? But I mean, we've got a lounge area, we've got a kitchen, we've got a laundry, we've got a study and a dining room and you don't feel kind of on top of yourself. It just feels quite spacious. I love the layout. And then just quietly look at the position of this desk. That is an epic view. I love that. You can still chat to whoever's in the kitchen. And how cute is this dining table? It's probably like the cutest and smallest dining table I've ever seen, but a dining table nonetheless. There's more. Technically, this is the front door. I went through the mate's entrance. Come on in. Welcome to my home. How cool is that pop of green for the front door? Now, you ready? Hello, bedroom. As long as you. size bedroom again you've got a lot of custom shelving as well I love that they've got <laughs> custom shelf for the CDs there's a lot of CDs in there but what I love about this is you get the other side of that exposed brick so it just has such an incredible feel to it there's more come on after you It has got a really industrial feel to it. There's a lot of timber through here. There's a bit of recycled hue and pine, which is really cool. Plus, how 
How good is this shower? I love it. It's just a bit of that copper piping. And again, that's been reflected here as well for the tap for the bath. And this shower, it's not just any old shower. You ready? It also doubles as an outdoor shower. How good is that? That is pretty special. I love that. All right, you get in there. I want to check on my teeth. Got my cuppa, but I did spy these earlier. Can't say no to a cookie jar. Now I've got a mouthful. Better put that down. Okay, so this home is definitely all about making the most out of what you've got at hand. There are so many incredible materials in here that have been recycled or that have been locally sourced. When I'm talking about that, you saw obviously that incredible timber that was wrapped around the exterior of the building. And I love the fact that they actually sourced that from the timber on the land. And it was all milled on site here and it was all done by the help of a friendly neighbor. Does it get much more Tasmanian than that? I mean. How good is that? Not only are you using your trees, but you're also asking the guy around the corner to help you build your house. And he just happened to say yes. That is very cool. As well as that, there's those incredible recycled bricks. That brick partition wall is phenomenal. They were taken from three different sites. They were just randomly laid as well. I was thinking that they had been expertly put together. The composition of them is so beautiful because there's so many different amazing tones and colors. But no, nah, the brickies just chucked them down as they came in and that's what it's for. So it's very organic. It creates a beautiful, warm, welcoming greeting as soon as you walk through the front door. Last, we've got to talk about the kitchen and the recycled elements in the kitchen. That office filing cabinet for the pantry, the bit of Rio holding up your pots. Plus, you've got form pipe, which actually works really well. I really like that black tone of it, but also not only does the form ply look good with the black, it's also really affordable. In terms of all of the cabinetry and the shelving, a lot a lot of that shelving is actually open, so there aren't any doors on there. And look, without the doors, you're gonna be saving money as well. And I kind of like the fact that it is open because it allows a lot more kind of color and personality to come into this home and it creates a really homely style. It really creates a friendly tone. The laundry is actually integrated into the kitchen as well. And that was actually quite strategic because that means that the services just run along one wall of the house. A lot of the materials were locally sourced and actually the glass for the windows, that was actually free. That was something that the designer got his hands on, but he did need to pay for the frame. So the windows are recycled. There's a lot of random pieces of timber as well. There's beautiful Taz Hue and Pine, especially in the bathroom. That was just bought off a local timber guy. And it's just finding things along the way that don't necessarily cost that much money, but it's about reinventing them. And speaking of reinvention, I love the copper piping that's been used for the shower and for the bath. I think that is is really quite something. It also creates a really nice industrial feel in that bathroom. It is industrial, but it's also very luxurious. It's kind of, I don't know, it really suits the tone in here. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be sort of so luxurious and it creates a really lovely retreat. Plus the outdoor shower, how clever is that? That indoor to outdoor shower. You are in such an amazing secluded spot here. That is just a showstopper. I love the fact that this home, you know, makes use of its surrounding areas because it is a small home. It's only, I think, 60 square meters in terms of its footprint. So the fact that they've created these outside areas to extend the feeling of the home is really, really clever. There is ply throughout the interiors as well, and that really lightens it up. It's been given a nice whitewash, so it's very light. It gives it a little bit of a Scandinavian feel, and that goes beautifully with the exposed brick and also that black form ply in the kitchen. It ties together really well. And also, I think it creates a bit of 
of a modern touch as well to this home. There's polished concrete floor, and look, that is where it was just gonna be a concrete floor, but the designer was like, do you know what? It looks pretty good. I'm gonna spend a little bit extra to polish it. And look, I really like the look and the feel of that polished concrete. Speaking of cost, we did say this had an ambitious budget of 60,000. Now, in actual fact, they did go over. All in all, everything included, they spent around $100,000 for this entire home. And do you know what? That is awesome. That is still an incredible amount of money. What they've been able to do with that amount of money is phenomenal. The cost of labor and the time that it makes to build things is often what makes things go over budget. And that's kind of what happened here. Slightly underestimated how much time it would take to actually fit a lot of those ply walls. And also little extra touches as well. I mean, as you're going and you're creating this incredible home and you're like, mm, should I polish those concrete floors? Yes, I will. I will pay extra. And I kind of, I understand that because if you've gone to the effort of creating something, I can understand you sort of choosing to do a few other little bits and pieces that just make it that extra little bit special. The bedroom, like the rest of the house, has great views and it also has incredible storage and cabinetry as does the rest of the home. And I mentioned that this home is called the Apple Crate Shack because it has been actually inspired by apple crates, which if you look outside and you look at the detail of that milled timber, they've actually been, I guess, created to reflect that of an apple crate. And apple crates are everywhere in this area. Obviously we're in Tassie, but they are literally littered around this area of flower pot and the Southern Tasmania. And I just think it's really lovely that something as simple as an apple crate was the design element that kind of inspired that look and feel of this home. The timber on the exterior, they've actually used the rough sawn side, which reflects the look of the apple crate. And over time, it's quite warm at the moment, but that will gray up, which is kind of what the designer was hoping for. Mm. What I love about this home is that it is modest, but it really does achieve a lot for a little. It's humble, it's friendly, and it's got everything you need. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Apple Crate Shack. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe because we've got way more home tours coming your way. How good was that home? Pretty bloody good. I'm pretty inspired. I want to build a little shack now. So do I, I know. Oh, we better get on real estate and check out some land. Yeah.